this one. Oh, okay. That's that's much better. Okay. All right. I uh, updated my NVIDIA drivers, and I'm guessing with all those beeps and boops that happened, the uh, I forgot which microphone I was using. So, in this episode, we are going to be working on getting upgrades to our weapon if it presents itself, our multi-tool, and we're going to work on getting upgrades to the ship if it presents itself. And the other thing we were going to get, whoa, is um, more fuel because we are completely out of jump fuel. So hopefully this planet has something. Oh, shoot. Has uh, some jump fuel for us. So let's head for this abandoned building, the only thing that's popped up. try to keep high in the atmosphere to keep our speed so weapon upgrade new ship if possible you can always salvage the uh, other components and then build up the uh, warp things and then uh, yeah so uh, I did some research online and I was able to confirm something and that confirmation was if these things are touching they get this border around them you see that and if this hyperdrive was touching these, they would get a border around them. And that increases their efficiency. They call it gridding on the internet. And it's, uh, it's something I've never thought of doing before, but then it was mentioned to me. And now I've done the research and now know that it is a thing that exists. Alright, we've arrived at the abandoned building. So let us land. I hope everyone's day is going well. I found out at work that I will be transferring to a new site. Which kind of makes me sad. All right, we got two suspension fluids out of that. For suspending the warp. So yeah, we have enough to make this and this out of that. And we can make two warp cells. No, yes. We need to make antimatter out of the vapors. All right, let's see, we're missing zinc. Zinc, hmm, any flowers nearby? What are those? That's awesome. How many creatures on this planet? It's a, you know, it's a small planet. Also, since we're not gonna be having to work on getting the money anymore for the uh, milestones, because we have all that count. We are pretty good at spending it. So that means suit upgrades and a weapon if it presents itself. Something coded long ago. This stuff is its intriguing, but um, I already know that recipe. That is broken tech right there. Uh -huh. some reason we are sitting at 30 frames which doesn't make me happy graphics max frames I'm not sure why we're at a constant 30 frames is v-sync on now you know you upgrade stuff and suddenly yes it is apply all right well we'll have v-sync off in the next one it doesn't help us we still jitter All right, well, that was the abandoned building, and we didn't gain anything from it, besides what was at the save point. So 
we need to keep our eyes peeled for that red laser, which can tell us where things are. I see the red laser. Let's land here. We also need the zinc. This tells me there's zinc right here. We'll go ahead and snap a shot of that flower. And just to get a little extra money, you know. Alright, we got 19 zinc. And we are in luck. There is a lot of zinc here. And some thorium. But we are so close to the end of this galaxy, I can taste it. All right. Whoa. What is that? Come on, I should be able to scan that. Nothing? It's a gravo ball? What? Oh, they're not happy about that. I have never seen that before. Well, I guess you guys would know that because if you followed every video, you would know that I've never seen that before. And it, these guys are not happy that I took that. Let's continue to move around. Where is the last guy? He is right there. Oh, it's a cold planet. Three bars for taking one gravo ball. We already got those things. Any other life forms around here? Yes. No. Really? What? Really? I would not have thought that getting low. Alright, fine. Whatever. We'll keep going. There's a red thing over there, too. Well, hopefully there is something here that will help us get more fuel. And we'll hold off in refilling the power container away. Uh, the jump drive. We won't fill it up with the fuel that we make. We got plenty of room now that we don't have those uh, <laughs> Atlas stones with us anymore. And yeah. It was a long day at work, so I'm trying to complete all my sentences. Let's see. This is one of the most boring buildings. That was a cool satellite dish out front. A little money. Alright, well, that was actually a pretty good payout there. Alright, let's see here. Did we open those? Yeah, we did. We saved. Landing thrusters are now dry. Well, let's head in this direction.
Oh, we got something up ahead. Must be on the corner of the mountain. Oh, yeah, we should probably scan for life forms. Not a drop. Wait, you gave me a question mark saying, oh, there it is. Floating containers. Those just have junk in them. Let's activate this waypoint. Okay, we got another question mark over there. And advanced life form detected an outpost. Okay. Ships up there. Do a scan. Got some zinc over here. There's a creature. A oh, gravel ball. I don't want it. Really, it's just. It's just useless. 27,000 if they'll pay you full price for it, which they don't. But at least we know now where the uh, gravel balls come from. Another one just shot up into the air. There's some more zinc and a word stone. And some more zinc. Aggression, that's a good one to have. Oh, I missed my stamina upgrade. We could probably rebuild that. Maybe we'll hold off until we get another um, suit upgrade. Wait a minute. So since that got reset, let's upload this real quick. And then I want to take a look in the graphic settings again. And field of view. It's at 95. Okay. They didn't let that get changed. So we got three. Let's go to our suit. We'll move these down. Uh, Herdium, we're out. It's interesting. Oh. Still weird. Oh, look at all those right there. Create objects, stamina upgrade, requires herdium. Okay, so we definitely need to get some herdium. All right, back to the ship. Did you hear a creature? I did, and there's some red dots. I think we already got that one. Already belongs, yeah. All right. 25%. I think when we landed, there was some herdium nearby. If I'm saying it wrong, no one's correcting me on the chat or the um, 
Oh, what is it? The uh, comments. I see some. So since this is necessary for building the um, warp cells, uh, we will take as much as we can. Oh boy, gonna start getting hurt soon. All right, we're good. We're good. Scan around here. All right, that's better. Let's see, create. Antimatter, create warp cell. Thorium, <laughs> well, yeah, let me, let me see here. All right, let's lift off. We're starting to get more pop-ups of stuff. There's the advanced life form over there. We did have that closer, question mark, which has now despawned maybe, or is underneath here. I guess we'll land crooked. A suit upgrade. Well, spend some money. Far away is that question mark? Two minutes on foot. All right, three hundred thousand. We can afford that. There's so much zinc flowers. Do you hear a creature screaming? We got some uh, space eels. Five out of nine. Not doing too shabby on this planet. I mean, everywhere you look, there's uh, a red dot. Already belongs to a discovered one, okay. Wow, that's a creepy shadow. Well, back into the hole I made. Oh, I don't want that. Iron suit upgrade. 
Thought there was a blob of gold around here. Ooh, some thorium. It was blue? Oh my. That's useful stuff to have. I've never seen blue crystals before. Platinum berries. Ah! Yeah, I could have swore I had a blob of gold nearby. I wasn't too interested in it, but I really don't like the game taking away stuff after it gives it to me. There it is. So why couldn't I see that a second ago? What is it? It is really gold. It's gold colored. Some of the upgrades do use gold, so this will be handy. None of the ones we're gonna use, probably. Get so little from this. That was that grenade was worth two. Saw some blue over here. What are you? Okay, we just made a loop. So, yeah. So this is a high drain place. Let's use the carbon. Well, I guess we could have used that power pack. Oh well, next time. There will be a next time. Uh, not enough thorium yet, wow. some thorium and some zinc all right oh get inside all right so the map's got some things on here maybe we could figure out something about the map there's a red there's blue there are dots so this one over here is a red. We've been to that beacon down there. An outpost. We still have that advanced technology source behind us, I suppose, at this point. All right, so this is just a line. Okay, landing. And we missed the pad. We'll be able to sell the gold here, actually. And 
we got another container with some antimatter in it. We'll go inside, see what he's selling. Usually they have a gun for sale. And they didn't disappoint. Alright, let's compare to our current gun. So, the new one has 21 slots, which is awesome. A lot are filled, and they're going to give us nothing for our current gun. So, what we can do is dismantle our gun. So, let's do that. Make sure we got enough room. We got plenty of room. Room? Oh, we're getting full. Two more slots. Why don't we transfer this to the ship? Okay. Let's buy our new gun. The price changed. Compare. It went from 144 down to 133. Huh. Compare. Is that because our gun wasn't as good now? So they, they want less money? Wow. Alright. Well, you see how that's hanging off the side there? Hmm. I wonder... Let's make some money. I wonder if we go into graphical options and we increase this to on foot field of view a hundred and apply. No, it's still hanging off the screen. Well, I don't like that. This could have been moved over. I don't have to see the whole gun. Maybe once. So what do we got? We got beam intensification. Mining beam. Beam focus. Beam intensifier level 2. Let's try this out. We got enough. Alright, so they turn green. Attached. Reload accelerator is not much. Beam focus, coolant, beam focus. Hmm, what do we have else here? Beam coolant. So here we will put a beam coolant. Level three. All right, they're attached. And are these attached because they're also green? Let's try an experiment. So we'll go with uh, beam coolant level two. They're green, okay. So there's four more mining upgrades we could do. It requires iron, platinum, Radnox and iron. So we need a source of iron. How's our inventory look now that we built some stuff? It looks better. Uh, we need the iron. Iron, which is up here. Okay. First off, we'll make some warp cells. Uh, more thorium. Send that to the ship. Why don't we send these resources over to us for those upgrades? Okay. We could always delete some of the combat ones if necessary. Hey, I just bought a gun from you. You got a weird face. Interloper, Isotope, Honorable Warrior. He wants isotope. 
The warrior gives me a technology blueprint and teaches me some of its language of its people. Red. And... I already have that recipe. Okay. Alright, very nice. We haven't saved here. Go around and save. And we need some iron. So that was a huge jump. And our capability. So let's try this out. That's carbon. We don't need carbon. Purple flowers. Health. Alright. Well, that wasn't much iron at all. That's iron. Can't see. Oh, there it's health bar. Oh, yes. All right. We can now build this guy. Why can't we build this? We got the iron. We don't have the hurtium. We need more the platinum. That's rapid shot. Rapid shot would go over here in this bank. We got a scanner. We do need a range boost. Right here, we'll put the range boost. And what else is available for mining? Combat amplification. Upgraded to their maximum potential. Faster beam on resource rich materials. Combat. Provides more destructive laser during mining combat. Okay, so this is really the only one we want, is the one with platinum. So, range boost 2. We need an analyzer because there's not one on here. Those are both yellow, and they're touching, so they're upgraded. Huh. Combat amplifier. Fire increases damage of mining beam during combat. So that wasn't much. What if we take this away? Take out that guy. And build it there. So those attached. That'll make that better. Bolt caster. Eh, we don't need ricochet, though. Range boost level two and we don't have a range boost level three we do have a range boost level three it's right there we need thorium nine huh and this would be better up here impact damage bolt caster delivers extra get rid of that and get rid of that okay so we need carbon Carbon. And we'll get rid of this guy. And this guy needs thorium. Okay. Oh, we've been standing out in the snow too long. Oh, I guess we could sell that gold now. A suit. We can get rid of these guys. That uh, that's actually awesome right there. Hmm. Gold. And that power cell. We've got lots of zinc now, which is awesome. Range boost three. Wrong item. Oh.
All right, in the ship, where do we go? Where do we go? We go up. Boring buildings, we don't want that. There's some herdium there, but there's plenty of herdium everywhere. That's got some dots on it. Could that just be representing planets? It's possible. Don't get dizzy, guys. I think that does represent a planet because straight ahead is a planet on the 2D map. So what's the square represent? Space station? Well, why don't we go into orbit and get the um, thorium real quick. To our weapon. Range boost three. Grenades are useful, but we really need more room for grenades. Alright, let's see. Combat amplifier. Bolt caster. We have a bolt caster. That's an adapter. It was this one. Faster mining beam, platinum. We need platinum. Well, I gotta say, I'm tempted to leave this place, but we've, uh... So, with the range extender, I wonder if that adds that. I'm gonna have to research range extenders, but, um... Other than that... I'm excited. And I see that the video is getting long enough. It'll take forever to upload in my current internet conditions, so... Yeah, the range extenders is what's doing this. Adding the little dots. Sweet. I guess we'll go in there real quick to make sure we don't forget to take, to take a look inside. Oh, no, it's a boring building walking away. All right, get into the ship. We'll get out of the ship. And restore point saved. All right, thanks for watching, guys. No Man's Sky with scary noises in the background. This is Billy on the Gun Jam C channel signing off. Bye-bye.